There is not a lot of difference between the daytime and the weekend executive program in terms of my preparation for class. I use the same cases. I prepare the same for class. However, there is a difference in the classroom environment and it's partly because the weekend executive students bring with them the daily experiences that they're currently facing. And so they're working full time and there are issues that are affecting them at work and sometimes they can't help but bring those experiences to the classroom. Have you been at one of those meetings where there's been a discussion about who, who deserves the revenue? Within my group, I'm on the lending side, and uh, one thing that comes up is how do you establish that relationship and how do you quantify that? Good. Any other observations? We, we have that in, in hospitals too, oh, amongst of different divisions. And yep. so a lot of times it occurs where supply chain is getting hit with the expense, but they're not getting credit yeah. in any of the revenue. Yeah. And so we have to work hard to make sure that that's... What do you do expense. there? What do I do? Yeah, what do you do when they complain that they're not being... Uh, you put them anyway. off, you know, I think the biggest powers to do nothing. <laughs> you know, uh, now you, you pull everybody together, including, including your finance person, and yeah. you make sure there's an understanding and try to trace back where the costs are really going and where the revenue really is, should be going. And you try to make it fair and equitable. Okay, very good. A case-based teaching style, at least in my class, means that the students come to class prepared. Uh, after having read a case, they've prepared a one-page recommendation. Uh, they do this in teams ahead of class and when they come to class they have no access to any other materials other than the case itself and the recommendations they prepared and any analyses that they've prepared as well. So I usually start off the case by uh, asking someone to summarise what they see as the key, key issues in the case. We talk about the production economics of the firm and then we talk about how accounting can provide a solution to, or one of many solutions potentially, to the issues that the company faces. And so it's a very interactive, very uh, engaging, very much a co-creation of, of knowledge that goes on throughout the, the two hours. I can engage everybody, I can cold call people, uh, and I feel no apprehension about asking anyone to comment on the case uh, and uh, the answers I get are usually very insightful. Go back to, cast your mind back to the Berkshire case. What do you think the role of accounting was there? Where during that case do we stop and did we say, wait a minute, there's a role for accounting here. Do you remember we did that a couple of times? Kelly? That they should have um not done this exercise once a year using the one master budget. So more frequent communication, right, of, of, of the accounting numbers. Where else was accounting very important here in, in, in the case, Matt? Wasn't it during the cost of the bears for the internet, right? So the right. allocation of cost of the bears being higher than what Rita sold them for. So remember when I asked you guys the question, you know, what's the cost of a bear? And initially you thought, oh, wait a minute, I didn't even bother trying to figure that out. But of course it's important. If you're manufacturing a product, you need to know what the cost of that product is. Um, and so accounting was very important for that role too. My job is to get people engaged, get people thinking about ways to resolve the issues in the case. Uh, and if I haven't gotten people by the end of the course to think differently about these problems that have a lot of ambiguity and uncertainty, and if I haven't gotten them to a point where they're comfortable doing so, then I haven't done my job and that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to try and transform and, and have people thinking differently about these real world problems.